Good morning. Our topic for today is about long-term health care. Ako si Bad Soblena at naniniwala ako that we need to change the way we handle change itself. In doing this, financial literacy would take a frontline role. I'm one of the financial educators and SMDs at IMD. Isa rin akong financial literacy instructor sa senior high school. And I'm a certified security specialist by the Philippine Stock Exchange. Here are my contact details where you can reach me. If a fellow financial literacy campaigner forwarded this video to you, I suggest siyang kausapin mo para sa mga questions and clarifications mo after you have watched this. Meron akong Facebook page at YouTube channel, yung Good Money Habits. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Now, allow me to introduce the financial platform that I'm proudly part of, yung IMG or International Marketing Group. We are one of the biggest and fastest growing financial services companies in the Philippines. Through financial education, IMG assists people who are committed to achieve financial security by building a strong financial foundation. Our established partner providers are among the leading business firms in the financial industry today. There are three major opportunities in IMG. One, have access to legal investments. Two, own a business and create additional income. Three, learn continuously through financial literacy seminars and workshops. Pag-uusapan natin ngayon yung part ng have access to legal investments. Tanong, why do you need to invest? There are three main reasons why you need to invest. One, to outpace inflation. Two, to reach your financial goals more effectively. Three, to address your responsibilities to your loved ones and to yourself. Simula natin ang discussion sa tinatawag natin na X-curve concept. The X-curve concept, there are two lines. The line going up, the black line, representing the law of building wealth, or ito yung ating ipon. And the blue line going down, which represents the law of decreasing responsibility. Or ito yung ating mga utang, mga bayarin. Nagsisimula siya sa stage when we were younger, ang tinatawag na productive years. Then we progress, araw-araw, we get older, until we reach that so-called retirement years. When we are younger, during the productive years, o karamihan ng mga tao, karamihan ng participants, or nanunood ng video na ito, malamang nasa ganitong stage ngayon. So ito yung stage kung saan there's none or very little savings kung meron man. At the same time, Ang dami-dami pang bills, loans or debts, and other payables to settle. Pero unti-unti ang kailangan nating marating yung stage na meron tayong lots of savings and investments wherein yung interest pa lang ng mga investment na ito ay sapat na para i-cover yung iyong mga responsibilities. In such a way that you now are living on investment income. Lagyan natin ng mga figures para mas klaro, para mas maliwanag. So at the start, during your younger years, during your productive years, let's say you have practically zero savings. And then yung total ng mga kailangan mong i-cover, mga responsibilities, nasa 3 million pa. Sabi ng X-Curve, habang nakakaipon ka, correspondingly, Bababa yung iyong responsibility. So let's say nakaipon ka, unti-unti, na-reach mo yung first million mo. Then corresponding, ibababa din yung iyong responsibilities or liabilities by the same amount. So 3 minus 1, 2 million na lang. Dahil nakaipon ka na ng 1 million. So let's say with knowledge and wisdom, discipline kasi napapaligiran ka ng mga tao na mahilig mag-save and invest kaysa sa yung mga tao na gastos ng gastos 
So, naituloy mo. Till the, comes a time na 2 million na yung savings and investment mo. So, correspondingly, ulit, bababa, by the same amount. So, 3 minus 2, 1 million na lang yung iyong responsibilities. Until you get that point, kung saan, meron ka ng lots of savings and investment, so itapat natin dun sa dating amount ng iyong responsibilities. Then, pra, ito yung stage, when you are older, during your retirement years, ito yung stage kung saan practically living on investment income ka na. At practically zero responsibilities. Bakit? Kasi yung interest pa lamang ng savings and investments mo na na-invest mo ng tama sa legal investment vehicle, sapat na para buhayin ka kahit hindi ka na nagtatrabaho o kahit hindi ka na actively participating in your business. So the X-Curve defines a movement from a secured financial situation going to a more secured financial situation. The X-Curve relates or defines your responsibilities. Tulad ng nabanggit kanina, it's about responsibility to your family or loved ones at saka, syempre, responsibility to yourself. Sa simula, when you were younger, during your productive years, you work for the money and you earn active income. Bakit active? Kasi you trade your time and your talent or skills for the money. Bakit mo kailangan kumita ng income? Kasi maraming bayarin. Tulad ng pagkain, pambayad sa bahay, whether ina-amortize or nire-rent mo yan, clothes, education, basic needs, pambayad sa debts or loans, mga utang, healthcare, which practically kung bata ka pa, ang issues is for wellness, pampalakas, pampaganda ng katawan, di ba? and other expenses. When you get older or, or during your retirement years, kailangan hindi na you work for the money. Kailangan money works for you na. At syempre, dapat may income ka pa rin, pero this time, hindi na active, kundi passive income. Ano yung passive income? Ito yung income na kahit nga hindi ka na nagtatrabaho or hindi ka na actively participating in the business, dumadating pa rin yung kita o yung pera mo. Bakit kailangan mo pa rin ng income at this stage? Kasi may gastusin pa rin. Hindi natatapos ang gastos. Mula ipanganak hanggang sa dulo ng buhay natin, may gastos. Kaya nga, pag naranig ko na magsesave at mag invest ako pagkatapos ng mga binabayaran ko. Nako, mukhang maling strategy yun. Kasi, di ba, hindi natatapos ang binabayaran. Anyway, moving on. Kailangan mo pa rin kumita kasi may expenses ka pa rin. Siyempre kahit retired ka na, kailangan pa rin kumain. Kailangan may tinitarhan ka pa rin. Kailangan meron ka pa rin mga disenting damit na isinusuot. And of course, the issue of maintenance medicine now comes in. Kasi yung healthcare expenses mo, hindi na wellness, kundi more of sickness na. Plus other expenses. So ngayon, we now go to the financial solutions to address these responsibilities. So yung responsibility to your loved ones at saka yung responsibility to self. So dito sa responsibility to your family, kailangan mo una, life insurance, para saan? To replace active income in case of untimely death or total disability or income protection. Next, investment. Kailangan mo yan to build funds that has leverage and that continues to grow or compound. Kailangan mo rin ng healthcare. And take note, dalawang klase ang healthcare. Yung traditional healthcare o yung sinasabi ng iba na health card at saka yung long-term healthcare na kukunti lang ang nakakaalam na ah, meron pala nun. Anyway, healthcare is serves to protect your income from being used up for unforeseen medical expenses. Ayaw mo na yung ipon mo eh pag may nagkasakit o na hospital, eh magagalaw ng wala sa oras. Next, responsibility to yourself. Anong kailangan mo? 
kailangan mo in the future ng income from your compounded investments. Para saan? As your source of passive income during your retirement years, kailangan mo rin ng fully matured long-term health care to protect your investment income from being drained by compounded medical expenses and to give you additional retirement fund. So this is what you need in the future, income from compounded investments at saka fully matured long-term health care. But more importantly, this is what you need to start today. Yung life insurance, investment, at saka health care. Ang tawag din sa tatlo, the three basic financial needs. Yung life insurance, investment, and health care. So now, let's discuss yung main topic which is have access to legal investment. Here we'll discuss the first level of investment which is yung long-term health care. So we suggest you start with a portfolio wherein your three basic financial needs are already in it. Yung long-term health care gives you a simple solution to address your responsibilities to your family or loved ones while laying down the foundations to resolve responsibilities to yourself. Pumunta ngayon tayo dun sa financial product mismo. This is called the Ultimate Kaiser Health Builder provided by Kaiser International. Ang IMG, ang exclusive distributor niyan. Sino ba si Kaiser International? The Kaiser International Health Group Incorporated is duly accredited with the Department of Health. The company is likewise registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission noong June 8, 2004 as a healthcare provider or HMO with an authorized capital stock of $160 million. Kaiser's board of directors are seasoned experts in the medical services and in the healthcare industry and is led by its president and medical director, Dr. Leia Uy Yolo. She's a distinguished HMO executive and physician. Na award yun din siya sa field of medicine sa UST noong 2019. So again, long-term healthcare is three-in-one. Healthcare plus life insurance plus investment fund. Tingnan naman natin ngayon yung mechanics ng long-term healthcare. Pag-aralan natin. So the term of investment is 20 years. Pero hindi ka 20 years magbabayad, 7 years ka lang magsusumikap, disiplinahin ng sarili mo na mag-ipon. So yun yung tinatawag na saving or accumulation period. Kung saan, habang nagbabayad ka, meron ka na agad na i-enjoy na mga binibisyo. So after being fully paid, pupunta ka naman sa compounding or extended period of 13 years. So 7 plus 13 equals 20. During the compounded or extended period, na-upgrade yung mga benepisyo mo. At pagkatapos ng 28 year, so graduate ka na, fully matured na ang iyong plan. And then, kung meron, uh, meron ka pang pondo, that fund continues to grow at 10% per annum. It can go lower but not less than 6%. If you want to visit the official website of Kaiser. Here it is. It's www.kaiserheadgroup.com Now, kapag may kinakausap ako, malama, madala sinasabi nila na healthcare, meron na kami yan sa company. So, pag naririnig ko yun, I'm quite sure na ang tinutukoy niya ay yung short-term healthcare o yung traditional health card. So, Tingnan naman natin ngayon ang difference between yung traditional health card o yung short-term HMO at saka yung pinag-uusapan natin na long-term health care. So yes, magkaiba siya. Sa short-term health care, renewal is not guaranteed. Lalo na pag may high claims. Kasi di ba, every year mo yung may renew Sa long-term health care, once na nasimulan mo, renewal is guaranteed. Tuloy-tuloy. In fact, di ba, 7 years yung paying period Next, the short-term healthcare yearly increase of premium until age 60. So habang 
umiidad ka, there's a tendency na tumataas din yung premiums mo. Unlike sa long-term healthcare, kung anong premium ang nasimulan mo, yun na yun all the way. Sa short-term healthcare, no term insurance coverage. Sa long-term healthcare, meron kang four-way insurance coverage. Sa short-term healthcare, no accumulation of unused health funds. Kaya nga ang biroan, sabi ng mga may short-term healthcare na hindi nagamit, sayang, hindi ako nagkasakit, hindi ko tuloy nagamit. I-re-renew ko na naman next year. Diba? So, dito naman sa long-term healthcare, all unused health fund accumulates with interest. So, sabi ng mga meron nito, buti na lang, hindi ako nagkasakit, kasi ibig sabihin, healthy ako. Tapos yung health fund ko, na-convert pa into savings na kumikita ng interest. Kaya nga ang tawag ko dito sa long-term healthcare, yung ipon na walang tapon. Next, no return of premiums for non-utilization sa short-term healthcare. Sa long-term healthcare, merong return of 85% of premium ng mga naibayad mo on the maturity date provided na no claim during the paying period. That is, pag nagamit mo except for hospitalization. Six, sa short-term healthcare, pre-existing illness not covered during the first year. Lifetime or permanent exclusions may be issued on the second year onwards. So, subject to approval pa rin yan. Sa long-term healthcare, pre-existing illness is also not covered during the paying period. Pero, healthcare fund starts to accumulate during extended period to cover or all illnesses. In fact, kasama pati yung mga maternity cases. Siyempre, subject to availability of accumulated funds. Lastly, sa short-term healthcare, it covers only up to age 60. So kung 61 ka na, chances are hindi ka na pwede. Pero sa long-term healthcare, basta na nasimulan mo, 60 or earlier, eh di kahit 70, 80, 90 or once ka na, as long as meron ka pang available funds, covered ka pa rin or member ka pa rin ng HMO. Tingnan natin yung isang uh, common plan na maraming kumukuha. Sabi nila, ito daw yung ideal plan. Anyway, it's called K100. The monthly contribution is 5,882. Pero if you choose the annual contribution or annual pay mode, it's 58,821. Kung napansin mo, sa halip na times 12, times 2 lang siya. So nakakatipid ka practically ng around 2 month cost. So saving period, extended or compounding period, unahin natin yung saving period. Ano-ano mga beneficyo mo during the saving period? Number one, APE or annual physical examination benefits. Pwede kang magpa-check up, libre, taon-taon for the next seven years. O habang binabayaran mo. Two, dental benefits. Then, uh, basic dental benefits, that is. Three, waiver installment due to debt. For waiver installments due to disability. So in 3 and 4, ibig sabihin lang yan, in case na yung policy holder, kunwari ikaw, ay kumanaw or maaksidente leading to a total disability, ang mangyayari, hindi mo na kailangan bayaran yung, yung, yung long-term healthcare policy. Tapos pwede mo na siyang ilipat or in case of death, lilipat na siya dun sa beneficiary mo. Tapos babayaran pa siya ng insurance. So ulit, when that thing happens, siyempre ayaw natin mangyari agad yon. Pero in case mangyari yon, so una, hindi nawawala yung policy. Lilipat siya dun sa beneficiary mo, fully paid, wala na siyang kailangang bayaran. Plus, meron pa siya makukuhang insurance. Five term life insurance for 20 years. So upon approval ng Kaiser long-term care policy mo, covered ka na agad ng 20 years. Six, accidental death and dismemberment for 20 years. Mamaya eh, explain natin further yan. Tingnan natin yung term life insurance component. For 20 years, but take note, until age of 70 only. Saan nanggaling yung long-term healthcare? Ito yung basic computation niya. Ang component niya is una yung long-term care benefit at saka yung long-term care bonus. 
Sa K100 plan na pinag-uusapan natin ngayon, yung long-term care benefit is 100,000. Part yan na makukuha mo during maturity. While long-term care bonus is 350,000 na part din ng makukuha mo during maturity. So pagsamahin mo yan, yan ang basis computation ng term life insurance na isa sa mga component ng Kaiser long-term care policy mo. If due to, if death is due to accident, dadagdagan niya ng corresponding amount. So kung 450,000, 450,000 din. Or in short, parang madodoble siya. So in this case, yung term life insurance coverage magiging 900,000 pesos. Ituloy natin yung mga benefits during the saving period or habang nagbabayad ka. Inpatient benefits or hospitalization. So take note, inpatient o pag na-hospital lamang. Hindi, during the saving period, hindi pa-covered yung check-up at saka diagnostics or laboratory. Pero mako-cover na yan during the compounding and extended period. And even up to the maturity, basta available pa yung funds mo. 8, Members Choice of Group and Board. 9, Annual Benefit Limit. Sa dito sa K100 plan na pinag-uusapan natin, it's 60,000 pesos. Pero tumataas yan habang mas mataas na plan na kinukuha mo. Gumunta naman tayo sa extended period or compounding period. Nga pala, doon sa paying period, on the second year, kumikita na agad yung payments mo ng dividends. Such a way that after being fully paid at the end of seven years or at the start of the eighth year, meron tayong tinatawag na accumulated health benefits. And then, meron ka rin accumulated health bonus. Yan yung mga makukuha mo or magkukumpound, then makukuha mo ng buo during the maturity. Kasama din dyan yung nabanggit ko kanina na long-term care benefit na 100,000. At saka yung long-term care bonus, so upon maturity, if no claim during the saving period na for K100, 350,000. Dito, bigyang uh, emphasis ko lang yung long-term care benefit. Itong long-term care benefit na 100,000 sa K100 plan, ano-ano man ang mangyari, let's say, pakonsume mo lahat, talagang nagamit na hospitalized ka during the paying period, tapos yung compounded value during the extended period na max out mo, sa dulo, hindi ka masisiro. Kasi meron at meron kang makukuha. Sa case ng K100, it's 100,000. So sa Kaiser Long Term Care, kahit ma-fully consume mo yung benefits, hindi ka masisiro, hindi ka mawawalan. Sa K100, ang total maturity value is around 1.2 million pesos. Seven years ka lang magbabayad, meron ka ng healthcare fund, insurance, at meron ka na rin retirement fund. Milyonaryo ka na. You have three options upon maturity. First, withdraw the entire maturity value. Kunin mo lahat. Two, withdraw only a portion of the maturity value. Pwede yung 50%, 50%. 50% kunin mo, 50% iwan mo para continuously mag-earn ng interest with Kaiser. Three, retain the maturity value with Kaiser. Iwan mo lahat, 100%. Yung compounded value during maturity. So let's say you decide to retain the maturity value, yung 100% with Kaiser. So what happens is, magkakaroon ka ng medical funds or pwede mo rin gamitin itong pension funds na kumikita ng 10% per annum. So sa K100 na plan, sa total maturity value na around 1.2 million, meron kang 116,617 kada taon. Matatanggap mo yan as passive income. So, dito sa example natin, yung kumuha ng K100 plan is 22 years old. So, yung sabihin, tas 20, pag mamature siya at 
Pag 42 na siya, makukuha niya yung 1.166 million. What if iniwan niya tapos tuloy-tuloy lang nag-compound at 10% per annum sa Kaiser? So, mangyayari at age 60, yung 1.166 million magiging 6.48 million na. So, this time, meron kang healthcare fund or pension na 648,380 every year. Now, let's say, itinuloy-tuloy mo pa yan hanggang age 65. So, this time, yung Kaiser policy holder na ito, meron na siyang 10.44 million. Or, ano mangyayari? Meron siyang healthcare or pension fund na 1 million kada taon as her or his passive income. So not, that's money working for you. Passive income. Now, pwede ba ang Kaiser sa bata? Ang sagot, pwede. Basta at least 10 years old na siya. So a child, your child can start investing at 10, 10 years old. It gives 524,000 pagka 30 years old na siya. O kaya, yan ay magiging 9.1 million at age 60 years old. O kaya, 14.7 million na yan at 65 years old. Provided nag-start siya at 10 years old. So this time, masasabi natin that this is one of the best legacies that you can give to your child. Now, alam ko, uh, with all this information, you're starting to compute in your mind kung ano yung long-term health care na kukunin mo. So to give you some examples, Ito yung pinag-uusapan natin kanina, yung Ultimate Kaiser K100 Plan. Yung basis age niyan ay 10 years old hanggang 60 years old. And kanina, nabanggit natin ang total benefits or rewards upon maturity is 1.166 million. Ang monthly payment mode niya is 5,882. Kung annual payment mode, Kung mapansin mo, sa halip na times 12, times 10 lang siya. So practically, nakakasave ka ng 2 months. So that's around a savings of 11,763 every year. So take note, merong annualized policy fee na 500 pesos. So payable yan for 7 years. Ang one time is 3,500, pero Kaiser allowed it to be annualized para mas magaan. So 500 pesos kada taon lamang. Other modes of payment are quarterly at saka semi-annual semi payment. Yung lowest plan naman, yung iba tinatanong, ano ba yung lowest? So the lowest plan available is K45 plan. So take note, pwede ito sa 10 years old hanggang 40 years old lamang. Kung 41 ka na, Hindi ka na pwedeng kumuha ng K45, kundi kailangan mo na kumuha ng next higher plan na allowable or allowed dun sa age bracket mo. So this time, yung total sa K45, yung total benefits or rewards niya upon maturity, hindi na 1.2 million. Parang half million na lang. Uh, to be exact, it's 524,776. Ang monthly payment mode niya is 2,647. Pero again, if you choose the annual mode of payment, it's 26,470. Or you save uh, around 4,294 every year. So take note, uh, I know what some of you are thinking. Sabi nung iba, ah, ganun pala, mas mura pag annual. So ang gagawin ko, hindi muna ako mag-start ngayon. Sisimulan ko sa December, iipon muna ako para annual ang sisimulan ko. So tama ba yun? Mukhang tama, pero hindi tama. <laughs> okay? Bakit? Kasi idinilay mo yung pag-i-start. Remember, ang mahalaga is makapagsimula ka. Bakit? Because you'll never know what's gonna happen. Katulad nitong pandemic, di ba? Sino ba naman ang uh, nakaisip ng mangyayari ito at this uh, scale? at this extent. So, wala. Di ba? Kaya nga mahalaga is kung ano yung kaya mo, yun yung simulan mo. And the good news is kung ano mang simulan mo, let's say nag-start ka ng monthly payment mode, later on, pwede mong i-upgrade ang payment mode to quarterly 
semi-annual or annual. Basta ang mahalaga, simulan mo yung kaya mo ngayon. To continue, in between yung K100 at saka K45 is K60. Ang basis age nito is 10 years old hanggang 50 years old. So kung 51 ka na, hindi na pwede. Ang kailangan mo nang kunin yung next higher plan. Take note, ang highest plan ay hindi K100, kundi K1000. Okay? Pero nor uh, normally, marami ang kumukuha ng K100. So this time, sa K60, ang total benefits or reward upon maturity is around 700,000. So to be exact, it's 699,000. 701. Ang monthly payment mo ay 3,529 pero kung annual mo, it's times 10, 35,293 that will give you savings of around 7,055 per year. So take note yung ano natin, ha? yung 500 pesos na annualized policy fee. 500 kada taon, dagdag doon sa binabayaran mo. And again, other modes of payment are quarterly, and semi-annual. At muli, uh, let me emphasize, simulan mo yung kaya mo, then later on, you can upgrade. Yan. There are three simple steps to start your investment. One, request for a quotation from any qualified IMG associate. Two, fill up the forms completely and correctly. Kung kailangan mag-attach ng supporting documents like valid ID, you must provide it. Three, settle the fees or payments, whether cash, check, or credit card. You can pay through IMD cashier, pay through any IMD bank account, or trans transfer funds online through IMG. Reminder, a warning. While building your retirement fund, make sure that you protect your income and your savings and investments. Kasi ganito yan. So this is you, the breadwinner. Niaahon mo yung family or loved ones mo, yung mga umaasa sa income mo, from a less secured financial situation to a more secured financial situation. Sabi ng x curve di ba? So everything is fine, everything is good. Dahil andyan ka, isang masipag at responsabling tao. Question, what happens if biglaan kang pumanaw or na totally disabled. So kung walang protection, yung family balik sa less secured financial situation. Maaring pulutin sa kangkungan. Kaya nga ang mahalaga, build sufficient protection. The right protection. Para in case something happens to you bilang breadwinner, siyempre malungkot na event yun, pero yung pamilyang iiwan natin or the loved ones that we will leave behind, meron silang sasandalan. So again, bakit kailangan ng healthcare? Kasi walang exempted sa pagkakasakit. Kahit ano pang vitamin supplements ang iniinom mo, pag na-accidente ka, ma-hospital ka rin. At pag na-hospital ka, hindi libre yun. Bakit mo kailangan ng life insurance? Kasi walang exempted sa kamatayan. In fact, it's not even a question of if but uh, a question of when. So if you're protected, maganda. Kasi long, even long after you are gone, your family or your loved ones can move forward. Yung pag-aaral ng mga bata, tuloy pa rin, dun sa school na pinlano mo, dun sa kurso na pupuli nila. Yung mga inakain nila sa hapagkainan, hindi madadowngrade dahil lang nawala ka. Kasi may iniwan kang pambili ng pagkain, pang grocery, pang malengke. Yung bahay na tinitirhan nila, yung sasakyan na ginagamit nila, hindi makukuha, maiilit o mapupull out ng banko kasi patuloy nilang mababayaran ng amortization dahil may iniwan ka na value para matustusan ayon. So here's a fact. Young people don't know the value of healthcare. Middle-aged people complain about expensive healthcare premiums. Old people cry because they are no longer eligible for healthcare. Long-term healthcare or LPC is unique. 
7 years lang ng disiplina sa pag-save and invest, meron ka ng healthcare and income protection with retirement fund pa. Sabi ng iba, ang tagal, 7 years. Sabi ko naman, matagal kumpara saan. 20 years sa abroad, matiis. 20 years na naglalakwat sa kinaya. 20 years tumaya sa loto, carry lang. 20 years nang naninigarilyo, sige pa. 20 years nang umiinom ng alak, kaya. 20 years nang nagbabayad ng mga loans. Until now, kinakaya. Kung 7 years ka lang mag-iipon, pagkatapos ay may healthcare fund, life insurance, at investment fund ka na, matagal ba yon? So I hope uh, you learned a thing or two. But remember, education plus execution will affect transformation. Because nothing happens until we apply what we have learned. Kung marami kang natutunan ngayon, kailangan lagyan mo ng action. If you want to learn more about investments, business, and financial literacy, we invite you to attend the Building Your Future Orientation. Pwede po natin pag-usapan yung mga schedule or you may also ask the person who invited you or sent you this video. Muli ako po si Bad Soblena. I am part of the 30M 2030 Financial Education Movement at ang aking hope and prayers ay ikaw din makasama namin. Alam niyo po yung 30 million ay marami. Pero we believe that tayo ay nagsama-sama, nagtutulong, tulong-tulong. We can learn from each other. We can hold each other hands, each other's hand at sama-sama tayo na sa paglalakbay sa ating road to financial freedom. Maraming salamat po.